Happy Friday! Welcome to another five four little fun facts starring yours truly. And though I wasn't here last week, this week I'm gonna do something a little special. Today's movie, The Shining, in honor of Shelley Duvall. Fun fact number one. Okay, so like everybody knows that Shelley Duvall was basically tortured for it. The making of this movie. Stanley Kubrick wanted um, her character to have a desperate and hopeless feeling about her so he basically abused her for the duration of this but what you may not know is that she wasn't the only one Scatman Carruthers basically got a lot of it too in fact the scene where Jackie Torrance Scatman Carruthers um Stanley Kubrick wanted to do it 70 times thankfully Jack Nicholson talked him out of it and only had him do it 40 times which, yeah, I know isn't much better, but... But Jack Nicholson basically said, look, the dude's 69. Um, can you not do it so many times? But yeah, 40, 40 was still a lot on him. It, it, yeah. Fun fact number two. Slim Pickens was actually supposed to play the role of Dick um, in The Shining. After having worked with Kubrick on Dr. Strangelove, of course. But after having worked with Kubrick on Dr. Strangelove, Slim Pickens was like, nah, I'm nah, forget it. I'm not working with him again. Fun fact number three. The people juice in the elevator scene, which I obviously can't show because guys took weeks, possibly a year to do. I found different reports on how long <laughs> it actually took to pull off because, and, and it was mainly because uh, Stanley Kubrick wasn't satisfied. He kept saying it didn't look like blood, so they had to keep doing it over. Incidentally, the elevator was, it took about nine days to fill up, and it was estimated to be about 3,000 gallons, which, as I understand it, is the current record holder for the most people juice used in movies, at least until Markiplier's Iron Man comes out. Fun fact number four. In the famous Here's Johnny scene, uh, the door that they used originally was a prop door and was supposed to easily be broken. Um, what they didn't know, however, was that Jack Nicholson used to be a volunteer firefighter and was very used to using an axe on a door. So, yeah, they ended up going through like 60 doors <laughs> because he was just plowing through them too easy. Fun fact number five. Apparently, um, Stephen King and, and, and Kubrick, I'm not going to say they had beef, but... So first off, uh, King, um, he was disappointed in the film. I'm not going to say he didn't like it. Um, he reportedly said that it was fine, it just wasn't his story. At the same token, uh, Kubrick reportedly said that he didn't particularly like King's writing because it was too warm, too emotional, I think was the word he used. And King <laughs> um, basically countered with he didn't really like his movies because they were too cold, hence he compared the ending to the book being an explosion and Kubrick's ending in the movie being Jack Torrance being frozen over as an example. But King kind of had a point because the book really is an allegory about alcoholism where the movie is it? He even actually reportedly wanted John Voight to play um, Jack as opposed to Jack Nicholson because he wanted someone who could appear genial at first and then go mad. And if you've seen the movie, yeah, Jack Nicholson is Jack Nicholson throughout the whole film, as he always is. And that's it. That's today's five fun horror movie facts. I will be back next week with a new one. So, yeah. Bye.